this video, we're going to continue our brief introduction into the basics of C programming. And what we're going to look at here is how to read input from the user in C. We're going to use the function called scanf to do that. And the syntax for scanf is just a format string and then a series of what are called pointers. And we'll talk about pointers a lot in this uh, series of videos, um, but this is our first introduction to them. So here's an example, I think it's easier to see with an example, uh, of using the scanf. And so I declare a couple of, of integer variables here, one prefix and one extension, and then I put it, print out a prompt for the user. So I'm asking the user for their phone number, and I give an example of what format I want it in. So I want three digits for a prefix, then a hyphen, and then four more digits. Then the third line here is just a detail that we need to do in C. If we're going to try to get input from the user, we have to make sure they see the prompt. And so the F flush command on standard out says, hey, anything that I started to print that's pending that maybe hasn't been displayed yet, go ahead and make sure that's displayed because I want the user to see it before they type in anything. And then finally, I've got the scan F statement here. And let's walk through the pieces of that. So the format string for the scan F, it's a lot like the format string for print F. It says, I want two integers. And the hyphen here says, I want the user to type a hyphen in the middle. So if the user types in 555 hyphen 1212, that 555 will go into the first variable, and the 1212 will go into the second variable. And then I actually list pointers to the variables that I want to get the results. And so the ampersands here, if you squint at that, it looks a little like an A. And that ampersand means I want to give scanf the address of my prefix variable and the address of my extension variable. And we call those addresses pointers, because they let scanf point at where these variables are. And that's going to let the scanf function that's built into C store the results that it gets from the user back into these local variables that we declared in our code. And so for now, you can just say, whenever I'm using scanf, I have to put that ampersand there. Over the next few videos, we'll learn a lot more details about pointers, and hopefully that'll uh, continue to make more sense as we go. Until next time, I'm Kurt. Catch you later. <laughs>